Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for this week starting the 5th of May. It's a general reading so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I have shuffled both of my main decks together, the Teacup Tarot and the Time to Shine Oracle to make one mega deck. So we have a variety of cards throughout the reading. So starting off your overall energy, the two of thought is all about making choices. This card asks you to make a choice because it's the indecision that's keeping you stuck. So get all your information together and be ready to make a positive choice. Your help or your hurdle, the ten of action says the busy times are over with, the difficult times are over with. Now you need to just enjoy some time out. Take a break. Do what she's doing on the card. Look, have a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit. And then you'll be ready for the next move forward. What do you need to focus on? Five of action. Avoiding anybody else's drama. Avoiding anybody else's confrontation. Leave it where it is. Do what she's doing on the card. Look. She can see this thunderstorm and hear it going on in the background, but she's well protected with her umbrella and her Wellington boots. And she's simply moving forward towards the sunshine. So this is very much a card of leaving the nonsense behind. How can you help yourself? The Ten of Pencils says, expect the situation to get better. Here she is climbing this ladder of success and with each rung on the ladder, things looking up and looking so much better. Pulling it all together, the reflection card says do just that. This is the card of assessment, of reflection. Look, she's put down this heavy rucksack and she's having a pot of tea and a slice of cake. And she's realising how far she's come and she's realising how well she's doing. But her sights are set on this signpost that says climb to new heights. She's already planning where to next. And that's just what you need to be thinking about this week. Because the eight of action is your final outcome card. This says busy energy coming in, delays over, lots up in the air all at once. Everything taking off for the best reason possible. So think it through. It's a week of reflection, assessing, realising how well you're doing and how far you've come. Take a break. It's time to leave any nonsense behind. Start climbing this ladder of success and moving forward. So let's get a little bit more information. The Justice card says that if there are any decisions that you're waiting for, they could well fall in your favour. But generally, this card says, follow your moral compass. Do what you know is the right thing to do. Be led by honesty, integrity and fairness. The Eight of Coins says, look at all the small details. The small details can make the huge difference. So dot the I's, cross the T's, read the small print twice. Take care of those tiny little final details. All of those things need considering and need working on. The four of wands, what do you need to focus on? Receiving. With grace and gratitude. Here she is. Look, she's been given this lovely bunch of tulips and a thank you balloon. She's being appreciated for everything she does and all that she is. Now, it's very easy to always be the giver. It's equally important to receive. So this is you leaving the nonsense behind and being appreciated for everything you do. How can you help yourself? Stay positive. That's what the Nine of Pencils says. Stay positive and focus on what could go right. Very often we are programmed to do just the opposite. So focus on the outcome. Focus on what could go right and keep your focus in this positive place. Pulling it all together. 
This is lovely. The six of thought. This is you moving on and feeling good. Now, sometimes it can mean taking a holiday, which is why I've drawn a suitcase on the card. But generally, this is the breath of fresh air card. Suddenly things moving forward. Literally what I was saying here with this eight of action. This is you making that breakthrough, moving on and feeling good. A real breath of fresh air. And your final outcome, one of the best cards in the deck, 19 of Wisdom. This is the Sun card in traditional tarot. Here you are. This is the card of success. It's the card of happiness and joy. Brilliant, optimistic new ideas. What a way to finish a reading. So let's just summarise. Making choices and decisions. Knowing that the difficult times are over with and it's time to leave those behind. Moving forward, doing what you know is the right thing to do. Taking care of all the small details, the small print, all those fine details, dot the I's, cross the T's. Stay positive and focus on what could go right. Realise, really, these two cards together say realise how much you are worth and that's worth an awful lot and then here's your movement forward everything taking off at once and you absolutely jumping for joy here's the success the happiness and the brilliant optimistic new start so i hope you've enjoyed the reading Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for liking and subscribing. It truly does support my channel. And I'm really grateful for that. So look after yourselves. Have a lovely week. And I'll see you here again soon.